Hey builders, I'm Ryan. Welcome back to Not A Model. Um, so earlier this morning, I ordered my replacement laser cut parts from Vans. Um, it's real, it's time to move forward with this project. Uh, I've done my five stages of grief all through anger and now today's acceptance. Here we go. Um, <clears throat> with my, um, as, as I talked about before, I'm just gonna replace my, my vertical and most likely my elevators. So really the, the surgery for my aircraft is, is almost all in the tail cone. Uh, in the back here. So uh, they listed laser cut parts for the ribs. Um, certainly the ones on the on the back deck here are, are red and they've got to get replaced. Um, starting with number 10, number 11, and the, and the, the pair of number 12s. They also listed the top deck as laser cut. So I went back through a lot of my prior videos and my uh, unboxing especially, and those ribs, those bulkheads I should say, are, uh, are had no blue plastic on them. So one would assume those were laser cut parts. However, I did find an image that my top deck here was in blue plastic that should mean this was not laser cut. So what I'm gonna try and do, if possible, is preserve this means keep all of these rivets into this bar the same. I don't, I don't, wanna, I don't wanna mess with that if I don't have to. Uh, I know I'll have to drill out these uh, to get these ribs out. Um, and I know the, st the, the bars I'll probably have to deal with, the, the horizontal uh, attachment bars. So what I'm gonna try and do is drill out these pair all the way around and remove number 12. Could probably have to twist it out. I know there was those little braces in there. I'll deal with that. And then from the back, I intend to pull out all of these rivets that hold these bars in, the bolts as well, obviously. Um, pull these rivets out. I'm pretty sure I'll have to take this rear skin off, which sucks because that was really hard to put in but I should be able to twist this rib or this bulkhead to get it out. And that gives me better access through the rear and through these holes to be able to take out the number 10. Where I might have trouble though, is <clears throat> those, those stiffeners that are in the bottom and the sides. I don't know how well I can turn this thing uh, in those, those J channels uh, to overcome that. So. That's what I'm gonna try and do. I'm gonna video it uh, as best I can. Some of this is pretty kind of dark and, and cramped, but if I can pull this off, hopefully I'll publish something uh, for other builders that are in the same boat. Uh, cheers, we'll talk to you soon. Well, that did not go terribly bad, although it didn't go as planned. Um, I, this took about three hours or so to get the, the tail torn apart. Um, the pair of 12s on the back came out pretty easy. I would say I did a great job of drilling out uh, the rivets that were on the flat face on the skin. Um, but once I got on these little rounded corners, um, I expanded a few of the, the skin holes. Um, I know what makes sense, you know, stay perpendicular to the face of the rivet. Um, just lining that up, it wasn't easy against the curved surface. Looking for that reflection, uh, it, it didn't go great. So I've got a few, um, oops, rivets to mark out. I'll have to upsize from threes to fours when I, when I put in the replacement parts. But other than that, I think it came out pretty well. Um, on, the, on the 11 um, is where I ran into trouble. My plan, if you recall, was to leave the top deck as is, and it turns out that was a dumb idea. Um, the, <laughs> the rivets to get this out are the 470s with the big head on them. Really easy actually to remove. Um, so I, I drilled all the side rivets out. I messed up a couple of them again on the, on the bends underneath, um, but could not for the life of me get this uh, number 11 bulkhead out partially because of these two uprights for the horizontal, um, but also the, the, the J channels in there, 
uh, and the stiffener. So um, I thought, well, self, why don't you expand this just a little bit more? Let's drill out the number 10. Great. Expanded a little bit more. Still wasn't room to get that one out. So I went after the top shelf. Again, it's not laser cut. I didn't have to remove it, but I did. Because sticking your arm through these three holes to uh, work on these rivets was a pain. And I found that using the fun little like James Bond silencer looking uh, 470 head remover was the way to go. I didn't mess up a single rivet on these. It was super easy. You know, it, it just conforms to the head of that 470 and automatically drills out the center. So definitely get that. So with the top deck removed, a lot easier to get at the uh, number uh, 11. 11 came out just fine. You kind of have to bend the sides out a little bit and she pops out. Didn't even have to remove these. Uh, uprights. Now came getting the 10 out. And I will say that was not fun. So wh what happens is I thought I could remove the whole thing with this little cross brace still attached and these stiffeners uh, still attached. That wasn't true. You just can't get enough sort of flex on this thing um, to get around the J channels. So those all came out, but again, no big deal. They're held in by the 470s, easy to, easy to drill out. Uh, not a mistake on here, even though it's a part I'm throwing away. <sighs> the struggle is getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight J channels uh, to, to release and pull this thing out. What I ended up having to do and I'm a little scared, not for this part, but these little tabbies that go in, that, that tuck in on the J channel, I had to bend those in and that allowed that to creep up and over the top of the J channel in that corner. So easy enough to pull this out, but now I've got questions for Vans when I get this new part, am I allowed to bend this tab to put the new part in and then bend the tab back in place before I rivet. We'll see. We'll see. So yeah, three hours, not so bad. Okay, here we go. So from the, from the tail cone coming in from the very rear, um, everything looks good. These rivets uh, holes came out really well, all the way up the sides. Um, I had to remove the screws uh, for the um, rudder cables. They were just a little bit long. Uh, so uh, actually you can see on that side. So when I pulled the 11 bulkhead out, it came backwards on this side. <sighs> but here you can see where I'm not terribly impressed. Some couple of these skin holes got widened. Uh, I don't like it, but this is actually that, um, that rear skin, that little cone shaped thing, which I've ordered a replacement on anyway. We'll see. Uh, how we can salvage that, or I guess I'll probably just up size to the next rivet. Um, but yeah, 10, 11, and 12 are removed. Not so bad. Everything looks salvageable. Um, all of these were the 470s, so it worked out really easy. Uh, taking it off, I think this is the nine bulkhead. Uh, this worked out really well. Um, and I had, I, I, you know, not terribly happy with the ones on the bottom, on the flat, the belly part. Uh, again, I've got, maybe I have to upsize or oops rivets on, on a couple of those, but overall I like it. All right, well, now that I've got these bulkheads out, the plan was to see um, for 10, 11, and 12, how bad were my uh, cracks with, um, with the laser drilled holes. Uh, after I've dimpled them and after I've riveted them. Uh, very hard to inspect this area uh, with the top plate. So I will say at first blush with regular glasses on, funky safety prescription glasses, don't these look great? Uh, I don't see any cracks. So I then upgraded to something even more geeky with like 
3x, right? And that's great. And looking on both sides of the hole, I think I see something. I think I see like a little shadow where that little notch is, but I don't know. Cause that could also be a product of me drilling out the hole. What I've read is that folks online need quite a bit more magnification to find that crack. Uh, okay, let's do that. So coming tomorrow, thanks to our online friends that send us stuff fast, uh, is a 30 X or 30 power uh, magnification with light uh, to see what's going on with these. And I'll make that determination tomorrow on whether I need to potentially drill out some more of these bulkheads, which I'd really rather not do. Obviously the six is fine because you don't install that until the tail cone merge. Um, but seven and eight don't look like a lot of fun if we had to have to remove those. Um, stay tuned. <laughs>